May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's go to Proverbs 21 and 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. So what is the saying? I believe when I first read this, a thought came to my mind. This person is going to reap what they have sown. This person is going to reap what they have sown. We have to understand that we are not on this world for ourselves. We are not here for ourselves. Yes, we were made to serve God, yes, but we are made to serve people as well. So you may say, hey, Kevin, I worked hard for everything I have. I once was poor and I worked so hard to get to where I am now. So I should not have to help people because of the hard work I have placed in. God is in control. Everything belongs to God. So whatever you have, it belongs to God. So how can you say that what you have belongs to you when it ultimately belongs to God? On top of that, we get tested by God. We are being graded based upon what we are doing and saying on this earth. So the resources that we have in this world, that is part of our test. What are we going to do with what we have? What are we going to do with what we have? The law of reaping, of sowing and reaping, is always in effect. So in this verse here, this person may be doing very well for right now. So this person may think, hey, I am not going to help out the people that are in need. I am not going to help out the poor because, hey, they need to fend for themselves. They need to take care of themselves. They are lazy. They can get a job. They should do things on their own because I did it myself. The law of sowing and reaping is always in in effect. So when you choose to not help people in need, whether they are lazy or sick, whatever else, a curse is going to be placed on you. When you do evil, when you are selfish, that curse is going to be returned upon you. I continue to tell you that we are being tested. So why are you living this life based upon how humans advertise this life to be? People say that, hey, you should get married, you should get kids, you should get a job. 
work, buy a home, buy a car, and your life is going to be good. Okay. Based upon God, that is flawed. Because it says nothing about helping people. Let me say this. I was composing an email to a person. And in this email, I was saying to this person, everything that we are saying and doing is being monitored. And right when I was placing that in the email, I could sense in a very strong way for about two seconds or so. I did not see it with my natural eyes. Let me explain this in a very easy way for people to understand. There is a way that you can see something without using your eyes. I know that may sound foolish, but I am telling you, it is true. Many times I can see something without using my eyes. And you may say, Kevin, you are crazy. <laughs> Only if you knew what happened to me last week. This is not the craziest thing that I am telling you right now. Anyways, right when I was placing in the email that we are being monitored and everything is being written down, whether it was a demon or an angel, I don't know, but right to the left of me and maybe two or three feet from me, maybe two feet, I guess, for about two seconds or so, I could sense slash see without using my eyes a being right there <laughs> listening <laughs> very closely to what not so much saying but what I was writing or placing in the email because while I was composing the email I was thinking at the same time, of course. So for about two seconds, I saw the being not in a very detailed way, but I saw it there, whether it was a demon or an angel, I have no idea. It was right there for about two seconds. And it really shocked me. <laughs> this stuff is real. Some people may believe that, hey, all I have to do is take care of myself and my family. That is not true. If we all came from God, Aren't we all brothers and sisters? Whether you are white, black, red, yellow, whatever, aren't we all brothers and sisters if we all came from God? Whether they are in sin or not, we are all brothers and sisters. So if you choose to ignore people that are in need, or choose not to help, man, let me say this. <laughs> there are some people that I want nothing to do with, nothing. There are some people that I don't want to help because being around them, ah, 
But I do it because if I don't do it, I know that something bad is going to happen to me. Even though I have enemies, even though I don't like doing certain things for people, I do it anyway because they are in need and I know if I don't do it, especially when I have the resources to do it, I know that a curse is going to fall upon me. So I force myself to do it. There is something I do for a person every week. <laughs> I go out my way <laughs> To do something for a person every week. And this person don't really show any gratitude. And when I ask for something from that person, it's always or to the point where that person treats me as if Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that person. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But I do it anyway because that person is in need. Listen, there is another person. Before, I did not want anything to do with that person. Nothing. Nothing. But that person would ask for my help. And I would be like, man, I really don't want to help you. But what came to me, Kevin, go and help that person. But I was thinking, well, when I help that person, that person is going to start problems. Kevin, go and help that person. But <laughs> that person is going to make me mad and that person is going to say foolish things to me to purposely agitate me, trying to get me to argue with that person. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Kevin, go and help that person. Kevin, Go and help that person. If I did not help that person, when I am able to help that person, even though that person is so irritating, so annoying, if I did not help that person, don't you know I will reap what I have sown? We can't only help the people that help us. We can't only be there for people that love us. We have to be there for people that are difficult. Don't you know from doing what I have been doing for people, I am reaping. So many good things have been happening to me. So many. So many. So many. Don't you know that good things are coming from those people that are really frustrating? I can see piece by piece, I guess you can say, that their personality in some way or form is changing. I am telling you, in some way or form, I can see that their personality is changing bit by bit, which is amazing. My point is, let me say this too. The reason or one of many reasons why I choose to be kind to people 
one of many reasons why I choose to not backstab people because I know that whatever I put out is going to return to me. The more tough the test is, the higher the reward. The more tough the test is, the higher the reward. Kevin, how can you say that? Because you are going to reap what you have sown. God is a balanced God. If he puts you through some really tough stuff, don't you know that if you choose to follow him, you are going to reap a higher reward. But for many people, when they get tested by God, they just complain and whine and blah, 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 blah. God is a balanced God. When people are doing evil to you, don't you know that those people are going to be cursed? Whether you see it or not, some of the time I see my enemies get cursed when they do wrong to me. When I see that, that gives me more of an incentive to treat people much more nice because this is not a game. When I see my enemies get harmed, I don't get happy by that because I know that the same thing can come upon me. How can I rejoice when I see my enemies get punished? I would reap based upon that. Being happy when bad things are happening to them, that is not going to happen. So let me stop here. So when you see a person, yes, yes. Some people may say that, hey, Kevin, I am really poor, I am really broke, and I really don't have much to give to people. So I can only pay bills and do this and do that. Listen, <laughs> I am a poor guy, <laughs> a broke guy. There were months where people would ask me money. Let me say this. There were times where I would buy something or fix something where I would not have much money toward the end of the month. And someone would come to me and ask for money to where I would not have anything else or maybe $5 left for the whole month. There are some months where I went with no money, <laughs> with no cash on me, no cash. But I learned that I can't depend on my resources. I have to depend on God. I believe I made a video about God blessing me with new tires. It would have taken me maybe, I don't know, quite a while to buy new tires. But since I've learned about faith early on, I don't depend on what I have because I know that everything comes from God. What I am trying to say to you, you are being tested. When people come up to you asking you for money or whatever else, you are being tested. There is no coincidences. Why would a person or many times people or certain people would come to me when I would have not much money left. That is no coincidence. Kevin, can I have $20 or borrow $20? Well, 
right when I have like $25 left or 20, I forget how much I had left. And it would be another two weeks until I get paid. God is testing you. Of course I can improve on more things, but what I am saying, when you do good to people, and when the test is hard, when you show God, hey, I am willing to do what is right, no matter what, I am telling you, oh my Lord, great things are going to happen to you. Look, what is happening to me now I never thought that people would treat me in this good way. I never thought that the good that is happening to me now would ever happen, ever. But years before or months before, I chose to do right by people. I chose to serve God. So when bad times did come, now I am reaping. Yes, I don't have a big house. Yes, I don't have an expensive car. But I am being taken care of. This is why I continue to do well for people, no matter what, no matter how much money I have left. In many cases, I would give people my last penny. And as a young boy, my dad taught me, always keep money on you. Never go anywhere broke, which is right in an earthly sense. But in a spiritual sense, that is not right. So I pray that this makes sense. Be there for people. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.